Hey there, Shelly Hughes here. I wanted to show you my new recipe. It's a spinach and artichoke dip. It's vegan and it's made with spinach and artichokes and a vegan mayo. And you have the option if you want to make your own mayo, which I have a recipe for, or you could buy store-bought mayo for this. Um, it takes a few minutes on the, uh, on the stove to get the veggies prepared and then you bake it in the oven and it turns out really creamy and delicious. And it's great for your parties or your holidays. And I also use this as a topping if I want to make a spinach artichoke pizza. I just get some pizza crust and I layer this on top and it turns out to be a really delicious pizza. So if you want to check this out, it's super good. To make the spinach artichoke, the first thing you want to do is prep the veggies. So we're going to do a rough chop of the artichokes. So you just want to drain them, rinse them, and then just give them a rough chop. And next we're going to take some spinach and I just do a quick rough chop of the spinach. Um, to get that chopped up before we add it to the pan and you also want to chop up and mince the garlic So now we're going to do an oil-free saute with the garlic So we're going to add that to a hot pan with a little bit of water and stir that up for about a minute Next add in some red pepper flakes and we're going to stir that next We're going to take up our chopped artichokes and let that cook for about a minute and that comes together pretty quickly and add in the spinach and uh, stir that all together. You can add a little bit of water if you want. Put the lid on for about a minute or so, and then stir everything together and get it ready to pour the next step. Once the spinach and the artichokes start to wilt, we want to add in some vegan mayo to the saute pan. And next we want to add in, squeeze in some fresh lemon juice and some garlic powder that we'll put in there also. And we're, to finish it off, we're going to add in some tamari, or you could use soy sauce. And you want to blend that all together. Stir that together. Let it come to like a slight bubble. And we will add that to a oven-safe dish that we will put in the oven for about five minutes. And you just want to let it brown. You don't want to overcook it because it can start to dry out. And then once it's browned, it's ready to come out and go, and you can serve that warm with your favorite uh, veggies, or you could use some toasted bread or chips, and it's good to go. And it lasts in the refrigerator for about four to five days, and it's great to bring to any party.